Hello everyone and for today's news, Akame ga kill writer's manga Mato Sehe no Slave is getting an anime adaptation. A footage-less teaser trailer was released alongside the announcement. Studio Seven Arcs that animated Blue Period is animating the series. You can check out the cast in the description. The battle fantasy is set in a world where a demonic gate has unleashed monsters known as Shuki. A special peach tree is able to give special powers, but only to women. The story begins when a boy named Yuki Wakura meets Uzen Kyoka, a girl who has gained the power of the peach and is a captain of the seventh anti-demon squad. The Mato Sehe no Slave manga by Takahiro and Yohei Takemura began in 2019 and has eight volumes as of August 2021. I personally liked and enjoyed reading the manga. People may complain that this is one of those edgy only anime devoid of any good plot, but in this case, I think not. Sure, the plot is quite straightforward, but it is not stupid. Most of the action is fought with strategies in mind, and there is actual character development. Overall, do not expect some mind-blowing story, but you definitely should expect a lot of edgy. And if Seven Arcs, the studio that produced Sekire, does it right, we may even get some new stuff. I, for one, will be looking forward to it. For our second news, Fun Animation and Crunchyroll are both streaming Attack on Titan Final Season Part Two. The anime begins airing on January 9th in Japan. Crunchyroll also revealed the territories in where they will stream, which you can check out in the description. The second part will feature a returning staff, including director Yuichiro Hayashi at Mappa, and the rest of the staff are given in the description. The first part of the final season aired in winter 2020. Studio Mappa animated the season, taking over from Studio Wit, which did the first three seasons. Nothing much to say about this except that I'm hyped. For our third news, the upcoming full-length anime adaptation of fantasy manga The Girl from the Other Side has received a new trailer. Which studio is animating the feature-length original animation, and they also launched a Kickstarter campaign to fund the adaptation earlier this year. Surprisingly, it met the goal in just four hours. The campaign raised over 22 million yen, which is close to 200,000 USD. For those who don't know, the story follows a young girl named Shiva who lives on the other side in a vacant village with a demonic guardian known only as Teacher. Although the two are forbidden to touch, they seem to share a bond that transcends their disparate appearances. I hate pain and so do you. Reading the description and looking at the amazingly animated trailer, I know this will turn out good. Yet I also know that this might hurt. The story looks like a confrontation between darkness and lightness. The relationship between a child and a parent, or a surrogate parent in this case. I will definitely give this one a watch, hoping for a happy ending. While all eyes have been on the upcoming live-action adaptation of One Piece, the franchise is preparing for a big milestone with its thousandth episode just around the corner. Many fans foresee a major announcement being made when the upcoming episode launches, and they are likely to be right. Somehow, a logo has found its way online, confirming the title of a movie, One Piece Red. The logo also had some very familiar marks in the letter D. Oda's official statement also found its way online early. A rough translation was provided, which basically confirms the announcement for a movie. There's also a tease of the female character referenced in the message that is highlighted in a banner alongside the upcoming film's logo. As mentioned in the message, Goro Taniguchi is directing the film with Kuroiwa Tsutomu writing the script. Oda will act as supervisor and producer on the series. It seems that part of these leaks was found in the source code of the official website. Potentially, if all of this is true, then this will be the 15th entry in the movie franchise that follows up on the 2019 Stampede. Also, reports state that the movie might be released on the 6th of August 2022. It is important to note that the information is not based on official announcements. That being said, fans should receive an official statement from Oda or Toei Animation when One Piece episode 1000 is released, which based on my country's time zone is tomorrow. The final news for today is a series of release dates for already announced anime, some of which I have already made videos on. You can check them out in the description. Sabiro no Armor or Rusted Armor's franchise revealed its second promo for the anime, which reveals the anime's main stuff and January 9th premiere date. Fantasy Bishojo or with a foggy reincarnated as a pretty fantasy girl manga revealed two additional cast members, the theme song artist and the January 11th premiere date for the anime. 
Toru Topaz, the genius prince's guide to raising a nation out of depth light novel series reveal more cast, the theme song artist and a January 11th premiere date. Miko Yasu's Police in a Pod manga posted two more cast members, a January 5th premiere date and its first key visual. Rusty King Bisco light novel series revealed the second full promo for the anime, revealing the anime's opening theme song and the anime's January 10th premiere date. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.